Hi ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy VJ Saros. Walking on the street vibe today. We'll be discussing on our issue tied to the Zenob what the, the issue of xenophobia in South Africa. And we want to talk on the issue of Buari and Showore. We had an entertainer Godai talk on the issue on the social media. Walking on the street tonight. Watch out. Boy VJ Saros. All right, viewers out there, you welcome to your daily program, Street Vibes, with BG Sardos on AM Concept TV. And as my guest today, I met MC Dafis on the street tonight. You're yeah. welcome, my dear brother. Yeah, I'm fine. While we've been discussing on the issue of what Agodai, a comedian, an A-class comedian in Nigeria, what he posted on his social media about Buari and Shewore, and the issue of xenophobia in South Africa. So to my guests, let's start with the issue of Agodai, what he posted on his social media concerning the issue of Shore and Buari. Now, we are that Agodai wrote on his page that why will Buari detain Shore? Because Buari has also did something like that with Shehu Shagari. He overthrew him then. Yeah. So now, my question to you now is that as an entertainer, being an entertainer, what do you see to the issue that this this guy posting talking about politics on the social media well um let me start by saying you see a man is, has ever made him some are some are idiots they just open their mouths to talk whether it is time to talk or not but others are wise they talk when the talk is necessary a veteran comedian like i go die he has a voice being a comedian of course being an entertainer all entertainers have, have a voice so he's trying to use his voice. I wouldn't, I wouldn't penalize him or um, say what he has done is not right. Though the fact remains the same that most people say entertainers, we entertainers are so, so, supposed to be active or government in power. <laughs> but again, the fact that someone is doing something that is not right mm. doesn't mean you are an entertainer, you have to support all of it. That means all entertainers, we should always keep quiet. Mm. You see, what I go there, I did. It was the right thing actually to have and I must say I salute his courage for posting that. No, he, he shouldn't see it as a right of veto. You know, he has no right to condemn of the course. presidency. But again, not forgetting what he what he posted that uh, Buari was he, he tried to overthrow Shehu Shagari. Yes, yeah, so, and he was so not yes, detained. So then. yes, but so history will always come back to play nice <laughs> for you. Are you getting of that? Course. So what I got I did is just like opening I mean, like, 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 voicing out for the Nigerians. Mm. For the Niger so, so Ore only tried to make the movement for revolution. Mm. Are you getting it? So, I think detaining him was not, it's not something that is supposed to be done like that. Especially when the case is getting more and more complicated. You know, because Buhari did this, a similar thing. Buhari did a similar thing to Shehu Shagari. So, he's not supposed to have done that. But, I go die has done the the right thing MC to me yes that means you can do the same thing i can do the same thing i mean we have a voice we should not be we, we should we should not just accept everything the government has done to us the fact that you are supposed to respect authority doesn't mean that you should not always voice out for the people you should always though if you are if he's trying to do it with another motive mm. then i'll say that is wrong probably to gain more fame or, for monetary value <laughs> but if he's doing it for the populace then i'll say he's right that's right. That prompted to, to my second question. Yes. Now, what he did, don't you think that maybe Sowore has given him money or what did he do? <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> well uh, but I, I entertainers, you guys, you know entertainers now, money yeah. is a business. Yeah, I, I wouldn't know that actually. <laughs> I wouldn't know. But um, I, think, I think he's doing the right thing. I mean, coming out like that, he's just doing the right thing. Because, honestly speaking, we are all in this Nigeria together oh, now. Good, and you know what people have been saying? Uh, Even what I go there did, we do it in our day-to-day -day arguments and yeah. discussions. <laughs> yeah. It's just that because he's a public figure, mm, there are people who try to penalize him for that. But he's trying to speak for the populace. He has not done something. Like, and I don't see that one affecting his career. Mm. I don't I don't see it affecting his career at all. You know he's a comedian. All right. And um, we always have a way of twisting things. Let me, let me just put it that way. <laughs> But yeah. he, he has done the right thing. That, that's, and that 
I don't believe it's going to affect his career. All right, thank you very much. Now, we have the Nigerians viewers out there watching this program live on the right. Now, what is your advice as a Nigerian to the issue of Sowere? Or what do you see? What, what can you say about it? Uh, your view my, as an my, entertainer? My, Forgetting my view, the fact of what um, Agodai has said. Okay. My, my view about the issue of uh, Sowere and uh, PMB, President Muhammad Buhari, is that he should just release him. I mean, I was I was reading I was reading a write up uh, that Femi Falano, you know Femi Falano, the son. son. So I was talking about that. That means Buhari has to testify. If eventually they charge Sowere to court and they need uh, witnesses, Buhari has to be some of the witnesses because he did a similar thing. Mm. Now what Sowere was trying to do is just to make things right. Mm. We can we cannot continue to be quiet till eternity. And I mean, to Sowere it seems like we are quiet forever. So someone has to make the movement. You have to you have to put in the action. So that's what he's doing. I would just say we should we should we should tread um, I mean wisely. Wisely that we should not just be following people blindly. If he has a better agenda for moving the revolutionary movement, I think we can all follow him. We cannot follow him. It's a, it's a good thing for moving that. Alright, and, and and you are not seeing this as so we're using it in in the way of opposition to Buhari because you know Chuwere were, were contested for the post of presidency and Buhari also contested for the for, for the post of yeah, presidency. Yeah, yeah. Hope is what or what do you because we have some people, you know, people are outside there thinking of the the, 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 the the positive and the negative. You know, we have we have people outside there, you know. Yes. Now Hope is not using that to to to, to against PMB. Well uh this is Nigeria, and, <laughs> and we are talking about politics here. Of course. I, I like that question. I like that question. If he's doing that for his political ambition, I would say he's wrong. He's wrong for doing that. But uh, if he's doing that to speak for the masses, to speak for the populace, mm. I would say he's right. All right. Yes, All right. Thank you very much. Now, that's that for the topic. Now, let's move to the second topic, which is the xenophobia issue happening in South Africa. MC that face, being in Nigeria, we are that South Africans are killing people, most especially Nigerians yeah. in South Africa. What, what, is, what do you see to the issue? Um, religion aside, because if we are, if we are to check the two religions, uh, you know, it always tells us killing is bad. Mm. So, but commonsensically speaking, mm. we all know that killing is a wrong thing. Mm. Killing fellow humans. It's not something that is right. Come to think of it, we are all Africans. We are of black course, to black. Black, black, black is black. killing black. But I wouldn't blame them too much. Why? Yes, this is this is the reason. If the Nigerian government have tried its possible to make sure that life is easy for us in Nigeria, because my brother, I must be frank with you, life is hard yet. Nigeria. Yes, life is hard yet. So if we have if they have done everything in their within their capacity to make sure that life is life becomes bearable for us. I don't think nobody will continue to move out of the country like that. The first thing is saying that, I mean, I have people in South Africa, I've never been there, I pray I, I go there one day. <laughs> but uh, rumor has it that most South Africans, they are lazy. Mm. And Nigeria, my brother, hard work you guys. Yes, we, <laughs> we, we like to work hard because of the situation of the country. So whenever we get to South Africa, we, work, we, we, yes, we easily make our money because the strength is there. Are you getting it? So killing is a wrong thing. Killing is a wrong thing. But if our country is good, I see no reason for people Traveling moving down to other countries. What I would just advise is, this thing is not something that starts just this year. Mm. It's been in existence the past years. Of course. Are you getting it? In the recent years. So it is advisable for them to come home, whatever they have made there. Let them bring it here, let them come and invest here. But I will still keep on saying that killing is not the solution. All right. Thank you very much for that, MC Dalpin. Nice to meet you on the street today. Thank now, you. thank you very much for watching today's episode on the topic of what Agudai said on the issue of Buhari and Shuwari. I'm talking of PMB President oh, Martin Buhari and the issue of xenophobia in South Africa. You've heard what my guests have said a lot. Thank you very much for watching. Keep on watching AM Concept TV. My name is BJ Sados. On the street vibe today. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I love you guys. Thank you. Hey, what's up, my people? It's your boy, DJ Tifro, Shaky Afman, DJ. Stay tuned to AM Concept TV. One love.